few more. We have Caleb Farrell Q and A. Will you do a face reveal or your gaming setup? Uh, yeah, I think I've said this before. Ten thousand subscribers. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a face reveal and probably just kind of a quick, you know, equipment uh, tour or whatever you know, whatever it is that goes with the face reveal that most people do. So you guys will probably see a little bit more into kind of the recording aspect of this on the other side of the microphone. Um, all right, a few more. Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the face reveal video. And was your prediction correct? If you filled that out, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But either way, this is this is the face reveal. This is what uh, the face behind the voice looks like. Uh, so thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers once again. I really do appreciate it, and that's why I'm making this video. So yeah, I guess I'm out there on the internet now. This is what uh, Bisectatron looks like. I, um, I'm not going to give too much more information, but I, like I said earlier in the video, uh, back back in that uh, Q&A number seven, I think it was, I did say I would do this. So coming through on that promise for you guys. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go through the answers to the questions because you can only see like, uh, well, I guess three answers or four answers. I like the hair color, hair length, eye color. Only the first few questions you can see the answer to right now. So you guys are probably still wondering the last half of it, uh, what the correct answers were, because uh, one of you got one of you did win uh, the competition, and I'll announce who that is uh, a little bit later in the video. Also, I'll answer some questions because I had you guys drop a few of, of your questions in the original 10,000 subscriber celebration video. So I want to answer that. And also you can tell I'm not really cutting away like most YouTubers do in the face cam videos uh, where they do like 10 second clips where you can see they're cutting them and splicing them in. I like to do one continuous clip. Uh, if something happens like someone walks in or something, I don't know, I may uh, splice, splice into the next clip. But for the most part, it's just going to be one take. So uh, just kind of bear with me if I have to uh, do a few transitions in here to go to different things on my computer, but for the most part, everything should go smoothly. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the form I had you guys fill out, your predictions for what I would look like, what my interests are. Um, there were 13 questions, and pulling up the first one, what's my hair color? Uh, you can see it's brown. Most of you guys got that. I guess that's a safe choice because, uh, well, I guess if you assume that I'm white, then brown hair, I think, is the most probably the most common and that's probably the safest choice. So most of you guys got that. A few said black and blonde and red were pretty pretty uh, small percentages, but I did have a few trolls say red. I'm not a ginger. Uh, moving on to length, medium was a safe guess. Uh, so you guys got that. I did have long hair though pretty recently. Never had a buzz cut since I was like really young. So uh, medium is the correct answer. My eye color, this is kind of a tricky one. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can even see. It might look uh, bluish on camera. I think it does look blue or gray on camera. Uh, they actually are hazel according to my driver's license. So in, as far as the state of Washington is concerned, I have uh, hazel eyes. I guess they kind of are a combination of all four of those, brown, hazel, blue, gray. Uh, I just have, I have kind of a mixed color, but it's I, technically that's what hazel is. It's kind of a green mix, and that's that's what I fall under at least officially. So I'm just gonna go with that. Hazel is the correct answer. Most of you guys said brown, which I was kind of surprised about, but I guess the dominant gene tends to be common. Uh, height, you guys can't see. I'm six three. No, I'm, no, I'm I'm five nine. That was that was a joke. So. Uh, Pretty safe guess, you guys. Most of you guys got it, 67%. I guess that's kind of like the national average. So that was a safe guess. And for those of you who took the safe guess, it paid off. 5.9 is the answer. Kind of phone, um, do I have it here? Yeah, I have my iPhone, uh, iPhone 6. Uh, most of you guys got that. A few trolls did put BlackBerry, but I don't even think you can play BlackBerry or play Clash of Clans on BlackBerry. So uh, that's why I put the smiley face there. But a few of you guys were trolling, whether uh, intentionally or not, I don't know. Uh, favorite Xbox game? This was probably one of the harder ones to guess. The answer actually is Madden. Um, a lot of you guys said Call of Duty, Minecraft, because they're more gamer type games. But I'm a, I'm a Madden fan, and uh, I have played all, all four of those um, a decent amount over my my 
existence, but uh, Madden is going to be my favorite. I don't play much anymore, any of those games, but it is Madden when I do play. Uh, favorite podcast. Now, I threw in two Clash of Clans podcasts just to fool you guys, and it looks like it worked. Uh, SNH got most of your guys' votes, and uh, it is a good podcast, don't get me wrong. I have listened to it, but I can't I, I can't take that much Clash in one day. It's just too much between the YouTube channel and everything, so I listened to uh, Star Talk the most. That was actually uh, tied for second with 23%. Uh, but that's going to be my favorite podcast. Uh, the other two, I've listened to all four of these, but uh, right now, pretty much just Star Talk. Uh, don't, don't listen, to, haven't listened to others in quite a while. So, yeah, moving on. How many pets do I have? Another tough thing to guess. I don't think I've ever said it in a video. Uh, one, I have a dog. So, Golden Retriever, yeah. Uh, most of you guys got that for the most part. That was barely the top answer, but it was. So another safe answer. F favorite fast food restaurant? Another kind of random question. I don't know if my voice gives it away. Uh, it's taco time, so uh, that's the answer to this one. Uh, I'm not a big fast food person, but when I do eat fast food, I guess I should say I don't always eat fast food, but when I do, I prefer taco time. So I have gone to all those places, but I guess I, taco time is the top one for me. Uh, favorite season? This one... A lot of people said summer, and I see why that is because there's a lot of like you know sports and you can go swimming and all this stuff and schools out and everything. Especially because I still am in high school, and that's true for college too for most people. But it's actually gonna be winter, and it's because the holidays, uh, other stuff going on. I, I just like winter. Uh, the weather, I like snow too. We get snow sometimes where I live, and. I do like summer, don't get me wrong, there's that, the element of having some more time, being able to do stuff, but it is going to be winter for me. Uh, I'm not a big hot weather person too, so that's part of why I'm more of a winter person. Uh, so next one is what's my favorite shoe brand, and it's going to be Nike, so most of you guys got that. Pretty Probably the biggest, uh, those, those are all pretty huge companies, but Nike's probably the biggest, and that's going to be my top one. I, I, yeah, I, have, I have one or two Nikes. Um, I think in a pair of vans too, actually. Uh, so the next one is how many books did I read this summer? And I threw this one in there just to kind of, uh, mess with you guys, especially the answer seven. Uh, that was just a, a big outlier because I thought you guys might think, you know, because it's so high that that has to be it. I, c I couldn't have thrown it in there randomly, but actually I did. I put that in there to just kind of screw with you guys. I read one book, uh, Black Holes by Neil deGrasse Tyson. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, it's kind of a cool science nonfiction book, uh, but that's pretty much all I can read in one summer. I'm not a huge reader. Just like a chapter a day is probably my maximum, uh, and I, I don't read every day either, especially once school starts. Then you're just reading what the teachers tell you to do mostly. So uh, yeah, one book is the answer. Actually, that was the least common choice, so only a few of you guys got that. Finally, I just threw in some stupid math question because I wanted to make it one more question just to separate you guys out a little bit more. And it's a derivative, which is a calculus thing. So some of you guys might have already taken calculus, especially if you're like an adult. You might not remember it though. Uh, so the answer is going to be 6x plus 0.5. Uh, I mean, not enough information. That's probably a safe answer because you figured this, if I threw it in there, you know, it might have just been because it's a trick question. And I wanted it to be not enough information, but you actually do have enough information. You just, well, I'm not going to explain it. <laughs> you can go online if you want to actually find out how to do it. Maybe some of you guys did just because it's an objective question. You can figure out the answer because uh, it's, a, it's a fact, I guess. So, yeah, the answer was uh, 6x plus 5. So a lot of you guys got that. I guess I assume you either knew calculus or you looked it up or got someone who did know calculus. But uh, a few of you guys put the other two answers. But for the most part, it was either one of those two and about half of you guys got it right. So uh, based off all that, just bear with me for a second while I pull up the name of the winner. Um, the, the top person got nine correct. I had a few people get eight. Most people were kind of seven, six, and five. Probably five was the most popular, uh, or the, the most common number you guys uh, got correct out of 13. But the top one was nine out of 13, and that goes to, drum roll, uh, Demitar. I'll throw the name up on the screen there. Uh, yeah, he got 
nine correct. So awesome job. I'll probably email him as soon as this video goes live uh, just to set up a time to go record one of his attacks if he's interested and we'll just kind of go from there. So awesome job, dude. Let's take a look at who got the least though. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys actually were um, were trying to get like the least amount. I I'm almost positive because there was a few answers like uh, blonde hair, gray eyes, blackberry, a bunch of like like that just couldn't be possible. And maybe you guys were just trying to, you know, trying to hope and because you know no one else will probably give that answer that if it is the sm if there is a slight chance that it's possible if that's the case you guys will win whoever did that but i suspect that there were some people just trolling trying to get like zero correct to possibly get a shout out in the video and i think that the lowest person was actually trying because they gave good answers but they weren't right and that's going to be Nico Manzoni. I mean, maybe he was trolling, but he put, let's see, Black, uh, Long, Hazel, 6-3, Samsung Galaxy, FIFA, SNH, uh, Wendy's. Yeah, he had a lot of like correct answers that do make sense, as opposed to other people who kind of put some troll-type answers, I suspect. Uh, but he got one correct, and I think the one he got was, which one did he actually get right? Um... Did he get any right? Act oh, no, he got the hazel eyes, actually. Yeah, that's all he got. So shout out to him, too. He was the worst uh, worst predictor. But the top one was, I think, Demetar is what I said. So I will give Demetar the email. Sorry, you don't win anything for getting the least, but you do get a shout out in the video if you're watching this, which is kind of cool. So that is that. Um, let's move on from the predictions and get to some questions. Just bear with me as I kind of go through on my computer here. Um, pull this up. Okay, here we go. First question uh, from John Givens. Uh, in what all sports do you play? I think I was talking about this in the video, kind of like when I was saying what I was busy with. Uh, but I play tennis. I played soccer for a while. I might do it again this year. I kind of took a break last year. Uh, but I do play uh, so or tennis. I was in actually the state competition where I live. Uh, soccer a little bit and I also kind of like to do you know basketball football just kind of with friends or recreationally when I can uh, and maybe I'll do that like intramural in college or something because uh, I, I used to play a lot of different sports when I was younger then I kind of focused on tennis and soccer mainly so anyway thanks for the question uh, let's keep moving here uh, B Hobbs what are some of your other hobbies uh, what are you thinking about going to college to become a little bit of an overlap because I do play those sports. Um, I also am involved in a few clubs, uh, leading a few clubs actually at school. Um, besides that, I, uh, I'm not sure what other hobbies. I guess YouTube is a big hobby actually for me, making this, doing these YouTube videos. Uh, so that sports club, just kind of hanging out, uh, whatever. I work during the summers. I have the last two summers at least. So I guess all of that stuff. Not, not a huge hobby person. I kind of bounce around by doing small little things. But anyway, as far as uh, going to college, I kind of want to go into um, aerospace engineering and possibly uh, work at like NASA or SpaceX, uh, possibly. You guys know I do have the Space Channel, my second channel. I haven't uploaded it in forever on that, but I probably won't. I might have to like stop and let it be dead for a while because of how busy I am, but... Uh, yeah, I, I'm interested in space and engineering, so I'll probably go into something in that field. And I'm applying for colleges pretty soon, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, next question. I have a few more. I think we'll do like seven today. Uh, the Kingdom Dude, keep up the great work. Uh, you deserve more subs, thanks. Uh, if you need to slow down for school, do it, but don't burn out. Okay, here's the question. After face reveal, have you thought about going to webcam mode? I mean, this is a webcam video. Let me know if you guys want it. If this video gets like a ton of likes and uh, you guys in the comments uh, like say, yeah, I really want to see more of these videos uh, where you do a webcam, I might do it. I, I don't know how I do it. I probably like have an overlay uh, on one of my, on, on like the, because other YouTubers, I think Powerbang has a webcam while he talks. I'm not sure if I do that on a regular basis, but if you guys like the format and for some weird reason like seeing me on camera, uh, you can let me know in the comments, give this video a like, and maybe I'll do an occasional video where I just talk to you guys about something. 
probably not. Um, but I'd I'd consider doing a uh, a, a webcam. Main, may, maybe we'll see how it goes. It would probably take a little bit more editing to get that um, beside the Clash of Clans gameplay. But I would consider it. So let me know in the comments. And don't worry, I won't I won't have my feelings hurt if you guys don't want that. Uh, because I haven't done that, and I probably won't, to be honest, but who knows where the channel will go, what the videos will end up being like. I mean, who thought I'd get this uh, $140 microphone when I first started? Uh, I was too cheap to even buy anything online to record. I did, I, I, you guys saw the last video uh, where I did my first ever video. I just took out my phone and put my iPad on top of it. Do I have my iPad? Uh, no, I don't have my iPad in here, but I basically put my iPad right on top of my phone and that's how I recorded. So who would have thought I'd have all this, you know, cool equipment. So basically my point is who knows in maybe six months what the, the videos will look like. So not going to rule anything out, but probably not is the answer, I guess. Uh, question for face reveal from Verinder07. If you had to remove three troops from Clash, what would they be? So I like the witches, but if they're not going to be applicable, if they're not going to be relevant, probably remove them because no one uses them right now. <clears throat> and if they would, you know, make them uh, viable again at Town Hall 9, 10, 11, if there was a way to do that, I would say keep witches. But I guess for the purpose of how they are right now, I'd say get rid of witches. Um, What other troops are there? Probably barbarians, just because every other troop has a function, especially in war. Like, barbarians are used sometimes just to distract a building real quick or something. But for the most part, probably barbarians, that would hurt the game the least. So that's two troops you can take out. Let's see, any other dark troops? You can't do golems, hogs, valks, lava hound, bowler. You can't do any dark troops, really. You need the minion, too. Um, probably have to take out an elixir troop and... Uh, I guess baby dragons, yeah. Um, I know they're, they're cool for funneling, but they're not anything too important. Like, you just use them for funneling right now. If you take away regular dragons, that's a whole type of attack that is cool to use. And it might become popular again, especially at Town Hall 9 or 10. So I would say keep dragons. I was thinking about that, though. You need, you need giants for sure. Um... And plus, the baby dragon isn't that, it's not that big of any kind of army comp, because when you use too many of them, they lose the uh, the damage buff, because they're no longer the only air troop in the area. So yeah, get rid of baby dragons, get rid of witches, get rid of barbarians. Um, I don't think there's anything else you can take out, so probably those those three um, would be my answer. Thanks for the interesting question, though. I like that question. Uh, a lot of people ask kind of the same questions in there, so I'm not going to be answering some of the questions that I have in previous videos. I'm looking for kind of new stuff that's interesting to answer. Uh, what was this one? Q&A, how do you find a balance between Clash, school, and everything else? Actually, this probably was a question I've taken, but it was so long ago, I might as well talk about it again, especially because it was directly related to what you're going to be seeing on the channel is the amount of time I have to devote to YouTube. So uh, basically, it's... It's kind of micromanaging, and that's kind of a bad term, but it's just doing, you know, in school especially, you know, sometimes just kind of go through the homework quickly, especially if it's just a completion grade. Uh, it, it's really taking what you want out of out of whatever you're doing and not doing anything too extra or overboard. Uh, it's in you on YouTube recording ahead of time, planning ahead. That's huge. And whenever I have free time getting stuff done, although I have made sacrifices, I'm not playing fantasy football this year. Uh, just because when I do play, I'm always like glued to the TV screen, NFL Red Zone on Sunday. And I need my Sundays to record, to do college apps, to do all kinds of stuff. So I did give that up. Uh, and for the most part, just, yeah, do stuff when I... Whenever I have free time, just do my best to work on either Clash or school or something. But definitely right now, my priorities are school and college and stuff. And videos are kind of just when I have time. But I'm definitely going to do my best to kind of record ahead of time and not have the channel have any noticeable uh, 
gaps in videos or things like that but a lot of you guys have been very supportive in the comments and i do appreciate that i'm not sacrificing anything to make youtube besides fantasy football i'm not sacrificing any school stuff so don't feel like you know i'm my life's over I'm, i've given up i'm going to youtube now because that's not the case at all so uh you'll still see videos probably but uh, my main focus is going to be on school and Right now, I'm doing pretty well managing my time. We'll see, though, once I start getting a lot of uh, stuff, once school goes in, because we're only about a week in. Not much has gone on besides the introductions and stuff. So we'll see how things turn out. But let's go to the last question from XM, I think an old OneHive member. And his face reveal question is, "What would you like to see a Town Hall 12 update? Uh, what changes uh, would What changes would you like to see if your answer is yes? No, I feel like Town Hall 12 would add so many complications. It's too early. It's definitely too early. You need to, um, Supercell should wait, definitely. I don't, I don't, I mean, Town Hall, Town Hall 11 came out like three years after Town Hall 10 came out or something crazy, maybe two years. I'm not sure exactly, but they waited a long time, probably too long to be honest. Town Hall 11 should have been out maybe a six months to a year earlier. But uh, Town Hall 11, we're still trying to figure out how to balance this thing out. I say we, Supercell is, we're trying to be vocal and say kind of what we want in the war community. But but yeah, there's, I mean, Town Hall 10 is pretty, pretty good. Town Hall 9 is okay for war. Um, we're still seeing some interesting stuff at 9, though. I'd say Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 are okay. But until, until Town Hall 11 has a path to being able to three-star other Town Hall 11s, uh, we're not ready for a Town Hall 12. And even then, I feel like that's just too much. Even if everything was balanced perfectly and it was it was a good time, I feel like it wouldn't be a good time because at that point, it would take so long if you didn't jam things to upgrade to Town Hall 12. They should probably just work on infrastructure within the game, adding maybe a new game mode, other ways for people at lower level to enjoy their accounts because not that many people are a max Town Hall 11 waiting to become a Town Hall 12. Back when Town Hall 10 was the top level, like a month or two before Town Hall 11 came out, yeah, there were a ton of people that were max Town Hall 10. Uh, but now, right now, uh, the, the, I think players are more spread out between the Town Hall levels, and it wouldn't it wouldn't be good for most people uh, for Supercell to devote a ton of time, which it would require to create and balance a Town Hall 12 because it wouldn't affect that many people and it probably would screw up the balance of the lower levels with even higher level troops too much. So I guess the more I talk about it, my answer is no, uh, no Town Hall 12, uh, at least not anytime soon and probably not ever to be honest. I don't think they will add it. I don't think that's their plan, but uh, I would agree if that's what they're thinking. Don't add Town Hall 12, but thanks for the question XM. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh, that's it for the questions. I know I didn't answer all your guys' questions, so I do apologize. I just wanted to get to the ones that I thought were most interesting and I hadn't addressed before, all that good stuff. So thanks for watching this video. Once again, I hope uh, hope you liked it and this is what I look like. I won't probably do that many face cam videos, but like I said in the question that was asking about it, um, let me know what you think, what you think of this type of video and uh, what you would say to a webcam. Because, like I said, once again, who knows where this channel will end up. And maybe at some point I'll consider doing a webcam. But yeah, uh, one more time, thank you guys so much uh, for 10,000 subscribers. It's crazy. And we're already at like 10.5. Just I haven't even finished making my celebration videos. And we're already another 500 subscribers strong. So I really appreciate all the support. And yeah, I guess I'll just end the video like I always do. Saying for the first time on Facecam, Bisectatron out.